understanding the phrase skinflint, a guide for English language learners. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore an interesting and somewhat quirky English phrase, skinflint. This phrase is not only fun to say but also carries a unique meaning in the English language. Let's dive in and find out what it means and how you can use it in everyday conversations. The term, skinflint, refers to a person who is extremely frugal or miserly. Imagine someone who is so unwilling to spend money that they would try to scrape off a tiny piece of flint from their skin rather than buy a new flint. Flint is a hard type of rock used in the past to start fires or make tools. The imagery here is that of a person who is excessively careful with their resources, to the point of being stingy. Understanding the origins of the phrase, skin flint, helps in comprehending its meaning better. This phrase dates back to the 17th century. Flint was a common and essential item back then, used for lighting fires and in firearms. The metaphor of someone so thrifty that they would flay the skin off a flint, rather than buy a new one, vividly paints the picture of extreme miserliness. To grasp the usage of skin flint, let's look at some examples. Example 1. Don't be such a skin flint. It's okay to spend a little extra on quality food. Example 2. My uncle is a real skin flint. He never tips more than a dollar, no matter the service. Example 3. You don't have to be a skin flint. Investing in good tools will save you money in the long run. Notice how in each example, skin flint is used to describe someone's behavior regarding spending money. While skin flint is not a derogatory term, it's often used in a slightly negative or humorous context. It's important to use this phrase appropriately, considering the tone and setting of your conversation. And that's a wrap on our exploration of the phrase, skin flint. Remember, language is not just about words, it's about history, culture, and the colorful ways we express our thoughts and experiences. We hope you found this video helpful and maybe even a bit entertaining. Keep practicing, and don't be a skinflint when it comes to learning new phrases. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.